Hello everyone, happy Friday. Thanks for coming on to my channel and watching my video. If you like XRP or crypto related videos, um, go ahead and click subscribe and like. Uh, that way you'll be notified if I make another video. So as they come out, you can get your little uh, pop-up notifications or, or whatever. Um, <laughs> I can't say that uh, that something bad will happen if you don't subscribe, but I can say that nothing good will happen if you don't subscribe. So how about that? We'll, we'll do. We'll go from this sort of optimist perspective, <laughs> rather than uh, threatening threatening you uh, for not liking or subscribing. Um, there's not a, a lot going on with XRP, in my opinion with price action over the past couple of days uh we seem to be in that high mid to high 20.21 cents to 0.22 cents so i'm going to talk about some other things today uh that are very uh, uh some <laughs> Some of them are self-explanatory, and anyway, you can see that I've got my uh, browser open to shining a light on XRP giveaway scams, and I, I retweeted something from, from uh, I think it was the Bearable Bull, doing a little, uh, a, a little uh, public service announcement saying, you know, uh, about the uh, Brad Garlinghouse XRP giveaway scams. Um... I, I'm not going to go through these articles word for word uh, because I, I feel that this is something people should know and, and maybe uh, maybe it's a bit arrogant of me to, to assume that because there probably are people looking at these ads from different countries that may not understand um, and, and I'm sure younger and younger people are getting involved in investing in XRP. So... Now, uh, uh, I, I just want to say nobody's giving away free money. I, I don't. If you want to think about who your traditional bank is, well, Bank of America, Citibank, um, PNC, any of these, when is the last time they said, "Hey, you, uh, give us five hundred dollars and we'll give you a thousand dollars"? That that doesn't happen um and, and it's the same with cryptocurrency nobody is giving you free money do not send your xrp to anybody um it, it, it's just uh in, in my opinion it should be self-explanatory but apparently it's not because these scammers are making money and uh I, i've seen them on youtube before um and usually I go on and try to report them. YouTube uh, is kind of notoriously not uh, not always the quickest at detecting and removing those scams. Um, so there, we talked about scams. Let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, this is something I see a lot of pe people talking about the crypto space and about Bitcoin. And, and this article is older, I think, um, from August 7th. Uh, so, <laughs> Bitcoin is not a store of value analysts believe, um, and, and maybe somebody else in the community or in the comments section can help me out with this. Uh, I, I keep seeing uh, people talk about Bitcoin as a store of value. Um, and this article says it's, it's too volatile to be a, a store of value. So... You know, a, what, whatever amount you're storing uh, can move up or down greatly in value in in, in the space of a day. So it, it doesn't make for a good store of value. But that aside, I, I, you know, let's just throw that part of it aside, the volatility. Um, when you're talking about electronic currency or, or, or bytes, bits or bytes, uh, why would you want a slow and clunky store of value? Uh, just because it's the oldest? Uh, because it's maybe because it's proven to be very deflationary with the halvening, and, and we know that the uh, the difficulty gets raised every four years, and, and so we know exactly what the supply is. But in 
in my opinion, that isn't needed in the electronic space, right? So if, if you have something like XRP, which has utility and is definitely more efficient than Bitcoin on almost every metric, right? So, um, you know, there's no huge power consumption. Uh, XRP will have a faster transaction time. Um, it's it, it it's just not nearly as clunky as Bitcoin, and, and you know that that all comes from the pr proof of work versus proof of stake concepts, which I'm not going to really get into much right now because I don't know who my audience is. You know, you uh, a lot of you probably watching would know this, um, but there are people new to the space every day, so <laughs> you can't really assume anything. And I apologize if I re Pete, but if I do, it's for the uh, benefit and value of those people. So my argument is, not only is, is Bitcoin too volatile uh, to be an electronic store of value, uh, it, it's why would you want it to be? If you if it doesn't matter to you how your funds are transferred around, if it's all going to be electronic or, or through cryptocurrency or tokens, why not use the faster, more efficient token for everything? Uh, than have this old clunky one sitting. Now, uh, Bitcoin, if you call it digital gold, if you want to look in the fiat world, gold is clunky too, right? It, it, it wouldn't be very um, uh, very efficient to go take, you know, uh, a couple bars of gold to, to a house closing maybe and try to sign the documents and hand over your gold um to to buy a house <laughs> so um i get that you know something can be clunky and, and and still valuable i just don't understand why why that holds true in the electronic space when there's so many other better options and maybe i it's probable i'm overlooking something because i uh i um <laughs> i don't work in that sort of uh realm of bitcoin too much anymore you know i i bought some bitcoins when it first came out uh not when it first came out but but when it was still relatively inexpensive i have made some money in the bitcoin market and the ethereum market um but uh yeah i i i don't know why everybody is repeating this mantra of uh store of value for, for Bitcoin or, or why it would be needed. So if you can illuminate me on that, I'd be very helpful uh, or, or very appreciative. It would be very helpful for you to do that. And uh, we've got more stuff about scams. I'm going to pop over to um, the price as of right now. Let's refresh it and see if it changes. Ah. 0.22. So yeah, we're, we're we're still right in that area that we were in yesterday. Um, not a not a whole lot of exciting action. I'm not even going to bother looking at the chart. Uh, I, I'm I'm not a uh, chart analyst, but we have some. Uh, these are not. Uh, uh, this is an all. Let's go to one day. See what it looks like. So, starting at point two two, yeah, we're 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 fairly e you know even. Uh, n not a lot of just a you know a little downturn then a little upturn. There's some peaks and valleys. I I don't know that any anything here really jumps out at me. Uh, um, Again, I'm not a chart analyst. I, I like to look at other people's analysis of the chart, and I'll probably do some of that in some upcoming videos. Uh, but but for today, since it was a boring day, I wanted to talk about things um, like uh, the, the scam. Don't send your XRP to anybody that you don't want to give it to forever, um, or any cryptocurrency for that man matter. Um, and why I agree that Bitcoin is not a store of value. Uh, thanks for watching and happy Friday.